Hello and welcome back to Step by Step Guitar Tuition .com. This is the sixth lesson in the Step 2 module for intermediate players. In this lesson we'll be looking at funk style strumming patterns in the style of artists such as James Brown or the Red Hot Chili Peppers. The following exercise will feature a lot of the major and minor shape bar chords so you'll need to be familiar with those shapes before you continue with this lesson. And if you're not, I'd recommend going back and taking a look at the Improvers module, Step 1, Lesson 1. And as always, don't forget you can refer to your lesson notes for more information. Let me give you an example of the funk strumming pattern that we're going to look at today. It sounds something like this. first thing that you need to master is the strumming technique. Start by playing four alternate strums for each beat of the bar. For this exercise there's no need to play a chord, just lay your fingers lightly as if you're holding down the chord but don't actually press, just lay them lightly on the strings and that gives you a muted sound like this. So with those strings muted we're going to play four strums for each beat of the bar. Slowly after four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. I can count one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Try and speed that up. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now that's called playing sixteenths because you're playing a total of sixteen strums for each bar and it's very important that you play exactly the right amount of strums in each bar. If you play any more or any less then you'll lose the rhythm so let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's build on that. Remember you can try this with any chords that you want, although funky guitar tends to work better with bar chords rather than open chords. For this exercise I'm going to use a B minor chord barred at the 7th fret. And let's start with that 16th rhythm again with the B minor chord, but just relax the pressure for now, like I showed you before, so that the strings are muted. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four.
Next, try putting the pressure on for the first four strums of the bar and then relax the pressure for the remaining 12 strums, like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two, three, four. So I'm putting the pressure on for the first four strums. One E and a, and then relaxing for the rest of the bar. We'll try that slowly together. One, two, three, four. One E and a off. Three, four, and on, off, three, and four, and one, e and a. three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Adding to that, put the pressure on for the ninth strum of the bar, which is a downstroke on beat three, and then quickly release the pressure for the next upstroke, like this. One e and a two e and a three. So you're putting the pressure on for that third down strum, third sorry, the third beat of the bar. Again, one e and a two e and a three. Try it together after four. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three, four. One E and a two E and a three, four. One E and a two E and a three, four. One E and a two E and a three, four. One E and a two E and a three, four. Next, put the pressure on for the 13th and 14th strums of the bar, and then again quickly release the pressure for the last two strums of the bar, like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So for that four E, we're putting the pressure on. Four E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... And then off for the last two strums. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. After four, one, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three, four E. One E and a three, four. One E and a two. It's very important that you start slow and that you put the pressure on and release the pressure at exactly the right time. And that's how you get that tight, funky sound. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. One, two.
try that whilst changing chords. For the first time around, play B minor at the seventh fret, and then the second time around, we're going to change to E minor barred at the seventh fret. Also, try aiming more for the top three strings when you strum. And that's how you get that high funky sound. One, two, three, four. E minor. A little bit faster. Okay, just to finish off, let me show you another trick you can try which features prominently in funk guitar and it sounds like this. To do that you need to play the chord one fret down in the sixth fret on the very first strum of the bar and then for the second stroke of the bar move it back up to the seventh. One, two, three, four. One E and a two E. Try that with the full pattern changing from B minor to E minor. One, two, three, four. That should give you an idea of how to play funk guitar. In module 5, step 6, I'm going to show you how you can build on those exercises to create some more complex funk strumming patterns. Remember you need to practice those patterns very slowly and accurately at first and play 16 strums to each bar. That's it for this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in lesson 7 where I'll show you some uh, fingerstyle patterns incorporated in suspended second chords. I'll see you then.